what's up guys it's this one here and today i'll be showing you the banner of war titan the most versatile strand titan build you can use in the game as it has a lot of varieties of how you can use this build and in what similar ways and oh boy is this build ridiculous so let's get into the video so with this build and why it's so diverse is with Banner of War it synergizes with a lot of stuff you can do with this build and how you can change it very very frequently and suit your playstyles. Now, if you don't know what play Banner of War is, it's a new aspect that came out this season for Season Witch, and you can get this from from doing the Fail Containment on Neptune. So yeah, you need to get the quest from you get the quest from Neptune, do the Veil Containment, and you get it. You get it once you listen to one of the audio tracks, and that's it. So, what does Banner Ward? Banner of War. Being a target with a melee attack, finisher or sword, raises your banner of war. That pulses with energy, periodically healing nearby allies increases melee and sword damage. <clears throat> now, this attacks up to four times, so which is nice, and has a maximum time of 30 seconds for this. Now, once you propped the banner of war banner of war itself with a melee attack, finisher, or sword, you can keep procking it with any other weapon. You just, your initial proc has to be with one of those things. Now, when you get to times four, the buffs it gives you are quite exponential. The healing is a lot faster than the pulse. The melee damage goes to 40% melee damage, which is insane. And the sword damage is a 10%, which isn't which isn't big, but at the same time, if they properly did it, it's a high percentage. Yeah, this is insane, and plus with Lament, that's the reason why. <clears throat> now, with, now, when I say this build is diverse, I do mean it. As the aspects, you can either run it in two ways, and then with those two ways, the Zoic parents you can use with it is quite substantial so with the first way you can go with it you can either go with dragon dragon slash which obviously when you activate your class ability you send a ripple forward and when that ripple hits targets it suspends them now you can use this if you go with this route you can use this with the avian sleeps and so it's leg armors which does free does three of those and gives you world meal when you suspend targets. As the priority with this build in general is getting world meal. And world meal is still ridiculous to this day as it's as I believe it's a 55 damage damage reduction, which is insane. And when you get the healing very rapidly from Banner War Times 4, yeah you've you've theoretically just become invincible. And it comes done very quickly. So yeah, and that's one way you can go with build. The second way is with, with into the fray. Now, into the fray is when you destroy a tangle or cast your super, it grants you worth a mail for for you and nearby allies, which is nice. And while you have worth a mail activated, your melee melee regenerate rate is increased, which is also very nice. As your melees is going to be quite important for this build, as you're going to do 40% more damage with that. So yeah, it's a must for this build to keep that up, the up time for that. Now, what you can pair this with with Sonics is Symphoseps for one, as you get an even more damage buff with that. So 40% plus Symphoseps. Damage buff with that, which 
makes you do even more damage and it's insane or you can use the newly newly reworked stronghold assault now why that well because when you get a 10% bonus with saws with final of war and now with stronghold being very good when you maximize the guard stats on the equipped sword you take reduced damage while blocking the sword and when you rapidly defeat targets after blocking shots with a sword you get your restoration for a duration, duration determined of the number of shots blocked now that's pretty insane because you get restoration with that so you could go with a more a sword orientated build and just get even more healing which is ridiculous say at least as this puts as this makes that aspect basically go you go and make you go two ways with this build you can even go with a third way but it isn't as i wouldn't say reliable but for utility wise it's best to go with restronald or or with symphoseps now that being is high and most like it does work quite well with this build, but the sustainability of what you want to use this for isn't ideal. So, if you're going to use this, you might do this for casual play, but Simbaseth, Stronghold, or Abiant Sleeps are the best Zolics for this build. Now, saying that, the fragments do not change. So, that's a bonus for this. So, whatever route you go with, either into the fray with, Banner of War or, or Dragger's Lash with Banner of War, these fragments do not change and it'll be stayed the same. So, the fragments that will be used for this is Thread of Transmutation, while you have a Wolver Mail, while you have Wolver Mail, Weapon Vinyl Bloods create a tangle. So, that's just nice as any weapons just can create tangles for you. So, bonus for that. Thread of Wandering, picking up all this power grants with a male, so that's nice for that. As if you're using a kinetic weapon and you've got kinetic synths on to generate all this power, or you're picking up your allies all this power, you get one with a male from that, and then just get killed with that kinetic weapon. You get a tangle, and the rest is history. Thread of Durations, deal damage, generates green energy. It's great. I know it's been nerfed for a bit, but it's still a nice niche just for green energy back, so it's pretty good for that. And the further continu continuity, suspend, unravel, and severe, severe, whatever you want to call it, effects applied. Sacks have increased duration, so just last longer. Now, with either way, way aspects go, if you're into the free or Dragon's Lash. We will be using shackle grenades as shackle grenades are just a nice overall thing to have. It is one of those. It's basically you're more going to use it for like a panic sort of button if you're getting swarmed or anything of like oh big bad enemies coming your way like champions. You just need to get out of there. Just throw that to spend your targets for for you. Obviously, the melee you use is frenzy blade, capital change that, uh, and you've the lifts you prefer to use and depending on if you want to be walking stuff use Tarrant Barricade but if you sort of using Dragon's Lash with the Sonic then Evo Rally Barricade would be easier so you can suspend them and then shoot the targets so it's all up to you. <clears throat> now for weapons for this build you can go multiple ways for weapons but if you're going strong on the build, I would recommend using a sword, probably using lament, as yes you shouldn't be really blocking lament, but healing is just really nice overall. I know lament has healing on the weapon itself, but it works well with strong in general. The other sword you could go for is Monte Carlo. Now why is that? Well Monte Carlo's unique pair is when you damage enemies with this weapon, you reduce your melee cooldown and it has a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each skill, which is really nice. Also, 
with this it's like it has got a catalyst this season and which makes the blade on the weapon be usable and it does a lot of damage and it's really good it's one of the head of friends if if I can get it to drop for myself which I can't because Bungie <laughs> but other than that if you do have a catalyst I would do recommend using this with Monte Carlo and it's great but overall Monte Carlo with melee based builds is just great overall especially once you get it back quickly and all that and it is pretty strong this season with the recent patches it's got so it is a good weapon to use so i would recommend it especially with this melee base build so yeah and for like your energy energy slash special weapons depending on what you want to when you want to use it i you can use a shotgun shotgun with one two punch as this buffs your damage to your melee so if you have symphoseps with the 40% damage buff from banner war plus one two punch yeah you can see where this is getting you do a lot of damage very quickly and with your melee with one two punch you just shoot all the pellets on the enemy and you have a full melee charge you can get two of your melee charges off before one to punch goes away then you shoot again with one to one to shotgun and you do your last melee charge to get the maximum benefit from it and this does delete enemies in general and it's really nice to use so yeah if you want to go use a one to punch shotgun for the maximum dps do that but if you don't any special where it's fine for this build so yeah now, for the artifact mods for this build, what you want to go for is anything related to strand. Now, the reason for that is the strand mods for the artifact this season are pretty good. First one you will want to pick up is Fanatic Tangles. Strand weapon fireballs have a chance to generate a tangle. Now, we're not me listing many strand weapons. You think yourself, why even have this if you're not going to use a strong weapon? Well, Monte Cal is an option for you to use, doesn't mean you have to use it. If you don't like to use Monte Cal, that's fine, you can use something else. In the kinetic slot, that is a strand weapon. So, there's that. Or, if you've got a strand heavy weapon, you can also use that as well. So, yeah. But, it's just nice overall. For that, as it just generates more tangles, and tangles are great. So yeah, communal pickups. When an ally destroys or picks up your tangle or almost orbs, the tangle cooldown is reduced by five seconds, which is really nice overall. And you gain bonus damage with weapon matching your subclass for ten seconds. So your tangle weapons become even more potent, which is nice. Uh, refreshing pickups. Picking up a tangle or elemental orb grants energy to your least powered ability. Just nice overall. And then, this is when the fun things become. Elemental mutations. Combat combatant final blows with tangles or elemental orbs have a chance to drop special and heavy. And oh boy, does it drop a lot. I say that. So, yes, use this as this is ridiculous. So yeah. Then you can go with the last ones. You can either use uh, Monochromatic Maestro, dealing elemental ability, damage increases matching weapon damage, and then vice versa for bonus ten percent for five seconds. Or if you don't want to use that, free stacks, pretty nice. Arm charges, grant bonus damage to your front tangles or elemental orbs. Just that. That's just nice overall. So, you can either choose between Monocratic, Monocratic, Maestro, or Frenzied Stacks. Now, now for mods, this, as this be more using a lot of melee abilities, you want to be more focused onto the melee side of it, whilst also using a bit of grenades as well. So, so siphons are what you're going to use, you can use either one if you're using 
Oh, it's a gala. Connected siphon is a must. And if that's if you're using other elemental weapons, using a dual siphon is great, which you can get this season from the Adverse mods. Just use whichever ones you want, as is use Void, so an Arc ones, with Strand. So whichever main one you're using, pick that one for your siphon for that. And then hands on, as we're using a lot of melee abilities. This will more focus onto that end, and it's just really nice overall. So, yep. Yeah. Um, heavy handed, you know, power melee followers, create orbs power. This ties well with creating orbs power, as then you get Wolver Mail. So, that's nice. Um, causing damage to your melee attacks reduce your grade energy. So, that's impact induction. You've got two of those, as getting your grenades back quite quickly is nice because more suspend and all that. And for chess piece, anyone use this much you want, depends on what scenario you're doing and all that. Same thing for your sort of your boots. Use whatever you're using in a minute. So if you want to do safe surges, use that. Holsters, use that. Even if you want to do stuff like recuperation, but even more health, because why not? Use that as well. Time dilations, a nice for your class ability. And if you've got, like, say, an artif uh, artifice, artif artifice armor, it's nice for that as well, because you've got a bonus to certain stats. And yeah, it just depends on what you want to do. And even if you want to, one, two, finisher. Collecting all the power causes you to gain a temporary armor charge. Finishers restore melee, melee abilities, consumes three consumes free of your more armor stacks, armor charges. So yeah, if you want to use that, you could do as well to get your melee abilities back faster. If not, it comes down to path for preference or what you want to use. So yeah. So yeah, overall, this is what Strand Titan does and it's absolutely insane. And it might be the best class in the game. So diversity and just pure destructionist with this. And before people say, uh, this is probably be meh you can solo dungeons with this build so yes <laughs> it's ridiculous if you could solo dungeons with this build by yourself even solo four of them so yeah this will be insane for day one quarters end as well as especially for the throw room bit for the first encounter it's gonna be great so use this for day ones it's a, probably a must because quarters end is a lot of moving about so yeah so i hope you guys enjoy and let me know what builds i should make next and i hope day one grocer goes well for you guys so thanks for watching see you guys next time